This is experiment three, density of saline solutions, preparing a solution of known concentration. And I just want to go over a few things about how to do this. So preparing a solution of known concentration includes two key elements. First, you need to know the mass of the solute that you're putting in. Our solute is uh, sodium chloride. Uh, we're going to be uh, getting this uh, from our sea salt or your source of salt, uh, whichever source you have. And in order to determine the mass of the sodium chloride, we are going to weigh it. And we've got our scale right here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, put our uh, graduated cylinder on, know the mass of the graduated cylinder, take it off because the worst thing you could do is spill salt on your scale. We're going to put the salt in here. Hopefully we get 100% in, but if any misses, we won't include it in our mass. Then we will put it back on our scale, and the difference will be the mass of our sodium chloride, uh, 99 plus percent. We will then assume that that mass is 100% sodium chloride, and we can use the molar mass to get the moles. Um, okay. Then, the other part of this is we need a known volume of solution. Our volume of solution, when we fill it up to the 50 line, will be 50.0 milliliters. We will convert that. So, um, and so, if uh, this is wet, and I don't know if you can see the little droplets on it, because then we will, it need not be clean and dry, but since we're gonna be putting distilled water in to make our solution, there can be distilled water in here already. So if it's clean and dry, great. If it's wet in any way, you need to condition the inside of this so that whatever wetness, whatever um, liquid is in here is distilled water. And so what that amounts to is if you need to condition it, put three to five milliliters in, swirl, so uh, turn it on its side so that it coats the entire inside. Do that three times, three times, there we go. And then whatever solution is in here will be distilled water, which is what you need. You're gonna be adding distilled water, so if a little distilled water is in there already, great, or not a problem at least. Okay, so you'll know the volume of your solution will be 50.0 milliliters. You'll know the mass of your sodium chloride, which will turn into moles, and since your known concentration will be in units of molarity, that'll be moles of sodium chloride, moles of solute, divided by volume of solution in liters. 50.0 milliliters will be 0 0.0500 liters. And that's how you make a solution of known concentration.